information. 21-15, 29-30, The winners, Subakja and Vijaya of Indonesia. And the next match coming up. And here we have the women's doubles coming on to court. Leading on to court is Wu Dong Ni and her partner Xiao Han Yu. In the orange colors, I expect. And in the yellow colors, it's Yao King Huang and Song Kiang Sing. While we are having the toss of the coin, I can talk to you a little bit about the players. The players on the left, Wu Dong Ni, the smaller one of the two, and Xiao Han Yu of China. Wu Dong Ni is 21 years old and her partner is 20 years old. And Wu Dong Ni was uh, world junior champion in the women's doubles in 2010 and her partner Xiao Han Yu won silver in 2012 World Junior Championship and here we have the road to the final and if we go to the two players in yellow. Ya Kyung Huang is 20 years old and her partner Song Jiang Sin is 24 years old. And when it comes to Chong Jiang Sin, she was the winner of the women's doubles of the World Junior Championship, but that was back in 2007. And since she has really been doing very well on the international circuit, she's been all the way up to number two on the world ranking. And that was in January 2013. Here we got her on the left. Sorry, I think I made a mistake there. But she played with Bao Yi Sin 
And with Bao Yixin, she made it all the way to number two on the world ranking and uh, was winner of Singapore Open in 2012, Japan Open in 2011. So a very, very, very good player indeed. Ready to play. If it's anything to go by, as you can see, then uh, Song Jiang Xin is the one on the right with the short hair. And her partner Huang is having the ponytail. And on the other side here, we have Xiao Han Yu in the picture. The taller and bigger one of the two, and the smaller one is Wu Dong Yi. So uh, if that's giving a picture to you at home. So this is an all Chinese affair. But right, nevertheless, I Huang think we're in Chong, for quite Zhong a treat Tianjin, here. China. And on my left, Ou Dongni, Yu Xiaohan, China. Zhong Tianjin to serve to Ou Dongni. Love all, play. I think we should add to the picture that the combination in in the yellow Huang and uh, Song Chin Sin, they have gone through this tournament without losing one single game. In the first round, it was Vanessa Neal and Mulyasari from Singapore. They lost 15 and 19 to this pair. Second round, it, they won 21-13, 21-9 against the pair from Hong Kong. Quarter-final, 15 and 11. And yesterday, in the semi-final against Duang Ga Nung and Kun Chala from Thailand, it was 21-19, 21-14. So, the pair here in yellow, they haven't lost a game so far. Good interception there. I shall hunt you. Yeah, good attack. Very so good attack over. from Song Ching Sin. One. Very, very strong player. And as I said previously, she's 24 years old and has made it all the way up to number two on the world ranking with a different partner with Pao Yi Sin. And Huang here in the picture serving. 
has been as high as 18 on the uh, world ranking. And funny enough, it's with uh, her opponent of today, <laughs> Xiao Han Yu. They got all the way up to 18 Five. in the world ranking, but uh, I think the Chinese set up in Beijing. They're famous for changing around in the, in the women's doubles and the men's doubles to try to find the perfect partnerships. And I'm sure this is one of these exercises where they're sort of mixing it all up and see whether they can come up with better solutions than what they already have. But I think this is a very, very strong combination. Huang Sun and over. Song Chin Six. Sin. Cool. They have played so well and convincingly in this tournament so far. It's a very commanding lead. This combination in yellow is having already 7-2 up, but very deservedly. And especially the woman in the picture here, Zhong, Zhong is, is serving so well. She's attacking well. She's very, very aggressive in whatever she's doing. Good flick serve. Yeah, that's going long in the baseline. Have to watch seven out for over. that drift. Three, seven. Yeah, going wide. Service over. Four, eight. Five. Service over. Nine, four. Yeah, it's not always easy. attack there by Huang. Very, very good attack. Very aggressive at the net. And 10-4 up, commanding lead. And perhaps into the mid-game interval with a seven-point lead. We will see. Yeah, good power there. Very good power from Xiao Han Yu. Good attack, very nice attack. Huang working very fine from the back. And then Zong was able to finish it from the front of the court. And 
as usual you can see when uh, two players or two pairs from the same nation is playing one another the coaches are not involved they're sitting in the stand somewhere and just following the game and making their notes and obviously trying to find ways for these two pairs to improve for the future still very very young all of them 21 20 20 and 24 so still lots and lots of badminton in these four women's doubles players Just to give you a little bit more information, I would say that uh, I was very impressed, though, 11, by Wu Dongyi and Xiao Han Yu Play. on their way to this final, because in the quarterfinal they beat Om Hei Wan and Yu Hei Wan from Korea with the impressive scores of 21-12, 21-5. And that is not an easy win, I'm telling Four. you. In the semi-final yesterday, they 12, beat Vivian five. Hu and Wun Ki Wei of Malaysia and that was a bit of a seesaw the Malaysians they were 19 13 down in that first game and uh, came up to 20 19 and then uh, the uh, Chinese combination managed to win 24 22 and the opposite happened in the second and once again the Chinese clinched it this time it was 21 19 Yeah, we're left. Seven, twelve. Somehow, I think this smaller frame girl here, ah. Wu Dong Yi, she's got to find ways of uh, playing the more softer shots and really trying to give nothing for the opponents to feed on. This is not so good because that's what they like. Over. Wang and Zong, because 13, they seven. love to be on the attack and obviously. The more you give them the opportunity, the more they will go for it. So she's got to find ways of slowing the game down a bit, maybe taking the pace out of it, and really in that way trying to make their opponents a little bit insecure. So closing the gap a bit here. Just four points between them, 13-9 or 9-13. Yeah, that's good. That's what she's so good at. Ten, she is so good 13. at that. I was, I've been impressed sitting in the stands all week here watching the players play. And I have been mostly impressed by Xiao Han Yu the way that she's able to attack that net. She's doing it extremely well. Ow! Service over. 14, 10.
15, 10. Good counter-attacking shot by the yellow combination here. Going wide. Service over. 11, but it just 15. To show that Song Ching Sin, she's really looking for every opportunity here. We've got her in the picture. Every attacking opportunity, she's looking for it. She's a very aggressive player. See, that's the kind of play 15. that will suit Wu Dong Yi and Xiao Han Yu, the softer approach, giving the opponent nothing to feed on. Play into these mid court areas, the softer shots, I think that's the option they have to play. Now just three points between the two pairs 12 15. And make that two 13, points 15. 13 15. Players just allowed to do a quick toweling down. But as you can hear, the umpire saying, quick, 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 quick. Want to have continuous play? So I think it's very right by Liang Wei Sam from Macau, the umpire, really urging the players to be as quick as possible. Ready? Oh. Service over. 14, 16. So after such a strong start by the pair in yellow here, Wang and Zong, suddenly it's just down to one point and it's 16. all level, all. 16 all, after being 10-4 down. That's quite a remarkable comeback. So almost what we saw yesterday when this pair played Vivian Hu and Wun Ki Wei from Malaysia. It was a similar situation, scoring six, seven points in a row. This is possibly one of the best rallies in the, in the match so far. Good pace. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're getting it back all the time. Good fighting spirit, but look at that attack. And here it comes. Finally, all the hard work paid off. 18, for Huang and Zhong. The combination here in yellow, eventually the hard work here, all the attacking, this is the one paid off. 18, 16 up. Yeah, this match is far from over. I must admit, I personally thought that the fast train was running in the early stages of this match. And Huang and Zong was taking it away, just like what they've done previously in this tournament, having won all their matches in two straight games. But this seems to be a much harder fight. 1917 it is now. 1917. Just proving my point on that shot there, played by Wu Dongyi. The soft approach, just directing it to, into that gap, was the right idea. But so, game point Service has over. arrived. 20, game point 80. For Hang, Huang and Song Jin Sin. 20 game point, 18, but very, very good effort here by Odin Lee. Very good effort. Okay, thank you. Good interception there. Service over. All set up by a very good 19, smash. 20. From partner Xiao Han Yu. Straight down the line. Really adding the pressure on that forehand side. And then interception by Wu Dong Yi. 19 20. Will they be able to square it? And. Get 20 all, but Out. not. There is a service fault. Game. And game. First game won by Wang Ya Chong. Zhong Qian Xin. 21 19. So, first game to Wang Jia Yong. 
and Zong Qingjin from China taking this first opening game 21-19. So there's obviously no head-to-head -head results between these two pairs as the pair in yellow, Huang and Song is a new partnership and it's their first tournament together. I have not been able to find anywhere else where they've been playing. Which means that obviously they have never played one another and the winner of the Bitburger Grand Prix Gold Tournament in Germany just uh, a month ago was actually won by Wu Dongni and Xiao Han Yu. So they are up against uh, a very, very strong combination here. Let's see if they can do anything in this second game. Second game, love or play. Service over. One, love. Service over to all. Ah! Three, two. Good interception here. Uh, Udoni directing it into that deep forehand corner. And they're having a good start here. Paying three, two up. shot and it's going wide I think the idea Four, was very two. very good by Wang but she just played it a little bit too wide of that sideline Yeah, this time it worked a little Three, bit better. Four. It was Song Chin Sin going for the cross court smash this time. And this time he was a winner. Yeah, that's called in. Five, 
Four. And this was uh, once again one of these shots I'm looking for from Udon Yi and Xiao Han Yu. These shots that gives the opponents nothing to feed on. not by Service much over. that's for sure Six, that's well left five. by Udon Yi Yeah, well placed Seven, six. by Song Chin Sin. That smash down the centre of the court, but very nicely played on the forehand side of Udon Yi. And she was not able to retrieve that one, get it back. It was really too nicely placed, so well played. Four. And once Seven, again, the power, the sheer power Seven, of Xiao Yi and you here in the picture. And nothing between the two pairs, it's seven all. But obviously, the pair in yellow has won the first game 21 19. I think that was going wide.
Uh, good play, good counter-attacking shot. Ten, Xiao Han Yu nine. here. Very good counter-attacking shot. Here we get it again. This one here. Very flat, very fast. And played from a difficult situation. out. She is working Eight desperately hard. Song Chin Sin really, really working hard on the attack, but missing this last one. Look at that. Just wide of the sideline. And the slightly younger combination of Wu Dong Yi and Xiao Han Yu is 11-9 up in this mid-game interval. Yes, once again, very, very nicely Nine. played here by Wu Dong Yi. Look at that. Small frame, but still playing so good badminton. This is a wonderful shot. She's playing straight. Look at this. That's the kind of shots I'm looking for. Giving the opponent nothing to feed on. The last four points. 13, 9. There is 9 all. But the last four points has gone. The combination in black is Wei, Wu Dong Yi, and Xiao Han Yu. 39 up. And there the power. There we saw the power. 14, 9. That's a real powerhouse from Xiao Han Yu in the picture here. She can finish it. She's got that power it takes. First a few smashes here, but look at this. That's power. Really hitting it very hard. Scoring the points and the last five points. It's gone in the way. Wu Dong Yi and Xiao Han Yu. Service over. 10 14. Seen from their perspective, all good things comes to an end. And it's 10 14. Eleven, 
Cain. Oh, that's well covered. That's really, really well covered by Juan. 14, 14. Great opportunity for Xiao Han Yu. This one here, that is well covered. <laughs> Look at the body language. Yeah, disappointment. Not being able to put that one away. That's a way to hurt and dent a player like Xiao Han Yu. Possibly not the quickest ones, but she's very powerful, as I've said earlier. But if you are able to really put a little bit of disguise in the shots, she is in a little bit of trouble when she's got to move very quickly. Both the pairs managed to score five points in a row from nine. First it was... 16, Yi and Yu, Xiao Han Yu. Got to 49 and then catching up was Wang and Zhong. Good defense here, really strong. Oh, what a miss, what a miss. Isn't it always 16, the same? 16. You save the most difficult ones and then when it comes to the easy ones, then suddenly you make this mistake. That's the one. That was a simple shot, but way out on that sideline.
wonderful, wonderful play here by Huang. The way she followed it up was very nicely played. First the smash here, the jump smash, the follow up. And look at this, this is the final shot. Yeah. Very nicely follow up. Yeah, apologizing for hitting Udoni in the face. But just two points away from the match here, 19-17 up, having won the first, 21-19. Once again, the power. 19, 19. It's the power smash from this player here, Xiao Han Yu. She is really proving to be very, very effective. Confusion between 19, the two players, four. Huang and Song. So once again, it's 19 all. game point 19 listen carefully I did not say match point suddenly it's the youngsters Udon Yi and Xiao Han Yu who's got game point here in this second game right. 2019 up will they be able to convert this one Once again, the extreme power from Xiao Han Yu that converted this first game point to victory. So there's symmetry in the scores. 21-19-19-21. And the game has been in progress for the past 47 minutes. Final game, level, play. Ah. Ah. 
Good attack here by Huang. Service over. One love. Yeah, that was good. Really making sure that her opponent was not able to play that block to the net. It's sending a lot of good signals to the opponents. You know, watch out, I'm here. I am ready. So don't play that kind of shot against me. Service over. One all. It's just about saying, as always, a very positive Xiong Kin Sin. Not only when she's playing, but also in her return of serve. Always looking for the answer, the aggressive answer. And once again, we see that one Three, very one. cleverly played by Wu Donyi, lifting it over, getting out of that flat exchange. This one saving it and then lifting it. That's good play. Clever mix up, good variation. Oh, can you believe it? How did she get that one back? And that's going wide. That's amazing. Very, very good play. I certainly hope so that we will get that in slow motion here. Yes, look at this. Yeah, but we didn't get all the rally. We didn't get all the difficult shots. But well played by Huang and Zong. And nice block here, very Service nice block. I think there's a little bit of misunderstanding in this new partnership between Huang and Xiong Kin Sin, because I think that Xiong Kin Sin, she wants her partner to take that one, but the partner is expecting her partner, which is Xiong, that she is moving forward to that. So there's a little bit of confusion on that one, and it's easy to see they are not used to play together. Ah, that was clever. Very quick by Wu Dongni to change the racket in the middle of this rally. See whether they can convert. Oh! Five, two. That is really fantastic. Look at this. Uh, this is the final shot. We did not get the chance to see how Wu Dong Yi actually managed to run out, change her racket, get back into it. But not only that, C partner Xiao Han Yu here, covering the full court and managed to stay alive in that rally. That was very good play by the two youngsters here. Five two up. Oh, 
I think the umpire is giving Xiong Xiang Xin a last warning. She's got to get ready. She's taking too much time. Oh, what a beautiful shot. By the woman in the picture here. Tries to look how she's moving it and look at that perfect block shot. That was neat. That was really well played. Defended. Look at that delight. So a seven two lead is now only seven four. was put away with Venom. That was really strong smash. Nice flick serve. And then the power again. And then that disguise and angle Nine. from Xiao Han Four. Yu. Look at that. Wonderful shot. Really good shot. First the smash down the line, but look at that. The reversed angle and really driving it cross court. Very well disguised, very good power still. And the 7 2 is now, now a 9 4, still maintaining the 5 points. And here is 10, Ten four, 4, which is 6 points. Considering the start of the first game, I must say that this has taken a very unexpected turn. It's long. Yes, 11-4. Change ends. So, as I said earlier, I think this is taking a very unexpected turn, this match. Especially considering the start of the first game, where Wang and Xiong was so dominant and in whatever they did, very successful. And suddenly, we saw this pair, Wu Dongyi and Xiao Han Yu, how they worked their way into it. Here we have them. How they worked their way back into this match. And that... Really shows good character. Very good character indeed. 11 4. important it is to score the first point after a, a mid-game interval to get started again get going and suddenly is 12-4 
Yeah, well left. It would have been a difficult situation to play it, but I'm sure she would have played it if it had not been for the fact that it was going out, out wide. I'm sure she was watching it all the way. Pressure, well done by Udoni to keep the partnership the in the in the rally, but well finished at the net by Huang. Really did not get the opponents, give them any chance to get out of it. But it was good fighting. Look at the acknowledgement from partner Xiao Han Yu, saying, you know, "Well done, you kept us in." Yes, it certainly pays to fight. As what Udonyi did here, she was so caught in that deep forehand corner. She fought it all the way, got it back. Not the best of shots, but it gave an opportunity for the opponent to make a mistake. where she's so good. Also when she's playing the mixed doubles. Very strong from the front of the court, but what a smash she's got as well. Like uh, Wang Xiaoqin. Kyung is uh, really losing it a little bit. She's lost the patience on the return of the serves. But it's also very hard to keep believing that you can actually win when you're 18 6 down. Would you believe it? Match point 
once again. Once again. There's the smash of Xiao Han Yu. Look at this. Sheer power. Straight down the middle and setting up 13 match point opportunities. How befitting, how so very befitting that it was Xiao Han Yu who played the final shot, really set it up nicely for herself and finishing this women's doubles final to her and her partner's advantage. Well played. Aldoni, Yu Xiao Han, 19-21, 21-19, 21-7. So the winners from the 2014 Bitburger Grand Prix Gold Tournament in Germany just four or five weeks ago. They repeated it here in Macau in the last of this year's Grand Prix Gold Tournaments. Nineteen twenty-one. 21-19, 21-7 in 65 minutes. And as you maybe have noticed, that the uh, prize money, the prize ceremony, is all of them done after the five finals and not between the finals, as you probably noticed before we started this match. So we will have five prize giving ceremonies coming on after the match is played here this afternoon. Our next match on will be the women's singles. And as I say, for the third tournament in a row, talking about China Open, Hong Kong Open, and then this Macau Open, there is no Chinese player in the final.
And here we have the two players for the women's singles for the presentation to the crowd. While we're having the toss of the coin, we have PV Sinduti to the right here, the taller one of the two players. And she's the second seed in the tournament. And what a wonderful performance she had at the World Championship in Copenhagen, winning the bronze, actually beating Wang Xuxian in the quarter final but losing later on to the winner, Carolina Marin of Spain in the semi-final. <laughs> 